If there's one man in Hollywood that knows the value of chemistry, it's gotta be Michael Bay. He's taught society that in the face of a half-baked story and a thin script, big budget explosions can help you save face at the box office. That's right, folks. Today we're talking pyrotechnics, Hollywood's go-to distraction from a bad plot. Pyrotechnics involve reactions that turn potential energy in the form of chemical bonds into heat, hot expanding gases, and kinetic energy. Explosions are a type of thermal decomposition reaction designed to produce high temperatures and huge volumes of gas. The volume of gas produced is much larger than the solids in the explosive materials. The reaction, which happens quickly, creates a buildup of pressure that releases in the form of an explosive shockwave. Dynamite, for example, is designed to pack a mighty punch by creating high pressures of detonation. This punch is known as the breezance, or shattering power. And although there hasn't been any peer-reviewed literature to back up this claim, it is our theory that there's a positive correlation between the breezance of an on-screen explosion and the amount of money that Michael Bay receives from one of his films. Many explosives are created by combining ingredients. Dynamite is a combination of TNT and nitroglycerin. Another example is modern gunpowder, which contains nitroglycerin and nitrocellulose along with other compounds. The gunpowder used in modern ammunition burns very fast, but it doesn't detonate like TNT. What these two have in common is a creation of lots and lots of hot expanding gas. And when mixtures are created to do this, two key ingredients are needed, fuel and an oxidizer. The first gunpowder, which was invented about a thousand years ago, combined carbon, which was charcoal, sulfur, and saltpeter. Saltpeter is potassium nitrate, which is the oxidizer, while carbon and sulfur act as the fuel. This mixture is no longer used in modern ammunition as it produces copious amounts of smoke, but in Hollywood, that's not a problem. In fact, it can be an advantage used to create dramatic effects by pyrotechnicians. Mixtures such as gunpowder are known as Class B explosives because they'll burn, but they won't necessarily explode unless they're confined. Let me give you an example. When a gun is fired, the propellant, which is the gunpowder, burns incredibly fast, but it doesn't explode because of the way it's packed into the ammunition. You still hear a loud noise when the pressure sends the bullet flying out, but if you set off the same amount of gunpowder outside of a gun, it'll burn fairly quietly. This is due to the fact that it's outside of a gun barrel, which means that the hot gas can dissipate quickly. This property offers pyrotechnicians a little bit more control over the explosions, because you know the drill people, safety first. So with your new knowledge of Hollywood magic, why don't you go binge watch some Michael Bay masterpieces and learn something. But before you do so, here's two more awesome chemistry videos you should probably take a look at. Also, you're probably going to want to subscribe. All you got to do is hit that button. It's that easy. Alright folks, we will see you again soon.